When the first season of Outer Banks came out, fans pretty much just devoured it. The sci-fi western was filled with some inexplicable and excellent plot lines that people just loved. As soon as the binge was over, they wanted more. And the wait keeps getting longer, so here are all the most recent details on a possible season 2. Let's get right into it. First up, has a second season been confirmed? The first season of the hit Amazon Prime series, Outer Range, came out in May this year, and any possible renewals have understandably not been announced yet. We know that when shows take off immediately, after release, the networks behind them don't take long to confirm new seasons. However, this hasn't been the case with the show we're talking about today. The creator, Josh Brolin, did come out with a poem regarding a second season, though. He took to Instagram to share a shot from the show and wrote, The hole we weathered through thick and thin, and in the hole we floated through din and more din. Now the days of the hole have just begun. The abbots spiral into existential fun. But the next cluster's mess in a hole it might be, so watch season one and help pull out season two with me. When can season two come out? If the show's producers confirm that they're working on a second season, then it's very likely it'll come out next year. That's the timeline that most shows follow, especially those backed by Amazon Prime itself. If a year is how long's left in the release of season two, then it sure will be a tiring wait for the fans, who are already going crazy with all the questions they have. Here are the questions that fans want season two to answer. As a sci-fi thriller, Outer Range naturally left fans with some burning questions on their minds. Time traveling through voids, animals that seem to have more wisdom than humans, and kitchenware that mocks us were just some of the things that completely puzzled fans, and now they're waiting for season two to offer some more clarity. What's the deal with the animals? One of the most talked about parts of season one were unironically the silent characters of outer range. Yes, we're talking about the animals, and specifically the mysterious buffalo with the arrows in its sides. Viewers were confused as to who shot the poor buffalo with the arrows, and why does it always show up at certain moments? The buffalo came out when Royal returned from the future in the second episode, and then later he removed one of the arrows from its side. Autumn removed the second one. Fans can pretty much guarantee that these moments meant something significant in the overall plot, they just simply don't know what yet. Then, there are the bears. Fans were seen wondering if they're somehow connected to the buffalo, and is the cub and young Amy somehow linked with one another? If we were the ones wandering about Abbott's range, we'd tell you to beware of one thing, the wildlife. Why is Billy Tillerson always singing? If there's one thing about Tillerson, it's that he loves to get melodic and sing his heart out. On first look, this may seem like a harmless habit, but fans started to notice a weird pattern in this compulsion, and this was only worsened by the teaser creator Brian Watkins dropped. He said that if you listen closely, the songs Tillerson hums are actually connected, and fans can connect some of the dots from these lyrics. Throughout the season, the enigmatic characters sang some popular as well as lesser-known songs. These include Whitney Houston's I Have Nothing, Fleetwood Mac's Dreams, and Private Eyes by Hall & Oates. Comment below what you think of these songs and their particular lyrics sung by Tillerson. What does the simmering crockpot lid mean? In the final episode of the first season, a crockpot on the kitchen counter of Abbott's home proved to not be just a simple kitchenware item. It kind of took on the tense mood that Cecilia had, as well as the tensions between Autumn and Royal. The slow cooker was filmed throughout the hour, and was even the second to last shot of the season. So did the simmering pressure cooker mean something deeper, or did it simply highlight the growing anxieties of the characters? Not to mention how Watkins has confirmed that the show is basically a walking metaphor, with lots of symbolism and hidden meanings of normal everyday objects and occurrences. He even named the simmering crockpot lid as one of the parts that pointed towards something more meaningful, and were added to the season to prompt viewers to think deeper and try to connect the dots on their own. And while you're deep diving into the hidden meaning of things, what exactly does the color yellow point towards? Fans were also curious about this seemingly happy and bright shade having a rather ominous role to play in the series. While Royal time travels, many of the characters can be seen sporting yellow jumpsuits. Speaking of Royal, how exactly do his time traveling abilities work? These are questions that have boggled the fans minds for long enough, and they just want the second season to answer them as soon as possible. How does the Royal control time? This one is pretty major. A huge part of the show has to do with time traveling. In fact, one of the biggest reasons Outer Range even has its sci-fi reputation is because of all the time travel that's involved, thanks to Royal's special powers. But how can this ordinary person travel both backwards and forwards in time? How did he figure all of that out? And does he have other powers that help him control all the land and minerals that we weren't told about? The first season failed to address all these questions, so we have to see if the second one will. Why was Rebecca trying to hide? We found out that Rebecca, in fact, didn't die. So why did she run away from the Abbots? Why was she trying to hide? And is it Royal that she's so scared of? We can pretty much assume that she was the person Autumn kept speaking to on the phone, so what are their motivations from here onwards? Another thing that didn't sit right with the fans was Rebecca and Amy existing in the same timeline, when in reality, she is the adult version of Amy. And will Perry know about Rebecca's truth now that he has swan-dived into the hole? 
How did Deputy Sheriff Joy manage to time travel? In the season finale, Deputy Sheriff Joy discovers a whole new world and one that she finds very fascinating. Not only does she tumble upon a whole herd of buffaloes, she also encounters Native Americans from older times. These scenarios suggested that Joy was standing in the past. History tells us that settlers killed buffaloes and bison as a way of starving the Native Americans, and Joy sees these animals and their involvement in the locals' lives from her very own eyes. But how did she manage to experience that, when she clearly didn't have time time-traveling abilities throughout the show. Perhaps she tagged along with Royal, or she simply had those abilities throughout the season. And finally, does anyone actually die in the show? Imogen Poots, who plays Autumn on the show, voiced what fans were already pretty curious about. She asked if Autumn can really die on the show, and as a matter of fact, if anyone can die on the show. Time travel will always mean that the character could easily come back and can be revisited whenever Royal feels like it. The shootout that broke out in the season finale kind of seemed pointless with the time-traveling possibilities, so no one can really truly kill anyone they dislike. Also, Royal can easily time travel to prevent the deaths of his loved ones as well. If all that is true, then what are the stakes of conflicts that exist on the show? Can people even do any actual damage on their rivals? And will Royal's allies always win all the battles? These sure are some very interesting points made by the fans. Wyoming's Ranchers and Greek Mythology The series begins with Royal explaining the role of Greek god Kronos, who used a sickle to slice open a hole in the cosmos. In doing so, he created the concept of time and castrated his father as a small consequence. That all seems relevant to Royal himself, who manipulates time the way he wants to. Royal also compared Kronos' shameful act to him killing his own father in the 1800s. But what other roles do Greek gods play in the series, if they do so? Will the references to gods actually become a part of the plot? And will we hear more of them in the second season? And a pretty long shot, but is Royal Kronos himself? Only a second season can answer these questions by fans who are desperately waiting. We can't wait till the second season is confirmed. In the meantime, you can check out other amazing sci-fi shows on Amazon Prime Video. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on Outer Range Season 1? Do you want a second season? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.